Good morning, friends. This is day 4 of 30-day morning yoga challenge. Let's start this practice in child's pose. Try to keep your knees around hip distance apart for this variation, but of course feel free to take them wider apart if that feels better. Release your forehead down and take a couple breaths to bring your attention to this moment, to your body on the mat. Prepare your mind for this short yoga practice. Take a big breath in through the nose and breathe out through the nose. Slowly come up to your hands and knees. With inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest up for cow. Exhale, round the back and push your hips down halfway into child's pose. Inhale, pull your chest forward and up, look up. Exhale, press the floor way around the back and sit back towards the heels. And keep moving like this. Inhale, lift your chest up, pull your shoulders back. Exhale, around the back and sit back. One more inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, around. Come back to a neutral tabletop position. And bring your hands over to the left, slightly to the side. Round the back like you are doing a cat pose and sit your hips back towards the heels, halfway through. Notice a bigger stretch on your right side in this position. Come back up, walk your hands to the right side, press the floor away around the back and gently sit back towards your heels. Stretch in the left side. Come up, bring your hands back to neutral position and lay down to your belly. Point your feet, press the tops of the feet, your pubic bone and forearms into the mat for sphinx pose. Elbows are underneath your shoulders. Pull your chest forward and up between your upper arms. Try to roll your shoulders back. Nice gentle back bend for your spine. Take one more inhale, try to lift your chest a little more and exhale, release your forehead down. Make your way up into downward facing dog, tuck your toes under, lift up to your hands and knees, then lift the knees off the mat. Walk your feet out a few times or do any other movements that you like. Maybe shifting the hips side to side, maybe shaking your head. From here, step your left foot forward to the outside of your left hand. So both of your hands are on the inside of the front foot. 
lower your right knee down to the mat gently push your hips down to the mat you have option here to stay on your hands or even fingertips all over down to your forearms lizard pose this pose feels a little different for everyone you might feel the stretch on the front of your right hip on your hip flexors and quads maybe something on the groin on your left inner thigh or maybe even on left hamstrings on the back of your front leg basically somewhere around the hips this is a big hip stretch Take one more big breath here. And then slowly tuck your back toes under. Step your left foot back into downward facing dog. Bring your right foot forward to the outside of your right hand. Lower your back knee down and adjust this side, staying on your hands or on your forearms. If you have the blocks, you can even place your forearms on the blocks, somewhere in between these two variations. Notice if this side feels the same as the other side, or maybe you can feel some differences. Slowly make your way from lizard into downward facing dog. And walk your hands back to your feet for Malasana, the yoga squat. Turn your toes slightly out, heels in. Bend the knees and sit down towards the mat. Option 1 to keep your hands on the mat. Gently push your knees out with your elbows. Or bring your palms together to your heart for even bigger stretch, a bigger challenge. If you find it hard to bring your heels down in this pose, try rolling or folding your mat a couple of times to create more support for your heels and make this position a bit more comfortable. Whatever position you choose, just breathe there. Noticing where you feel the stretch. Noticing which parts of the body have to work to keep you in this position. Yoga squat is one of the best poses for lower body flexibility and mobility. It works on your ankles, knees, hips and lower back. Take one more big breath in, slow breath out, and straighten your legs for ragdoll. Bring your feet parallel to each other, hold your opposite elbows. Knees can stay bent or straighten your legs a bit more, that might feel good after bending the knees in squat. Stay still or sway side to side a couple of times. Take one more inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Release your arms and lower yourself down into seated position, cross-legged or on your heels. 
One more breath together. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up, look up. Exhale, palms to your heart. Good job today showing up for your morning yoga practice. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed day 4. I wish you a great day and see you tomorrow for day 5.